In this video, we're going to download stock prices and we're going to save it to a CSV file. And the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new file and I'm going to call it download price information.ipnb. I'm going to make it in Jupyter Notebook. So if you don't have Jupyter Notebook installed, we need to, you need to install it first. I'm going to import pandas as pt and I'm going to import Yahoo query. No, I'm going to import from Yahoo query import ticker. If we don't have uh, Yahoo query installed, we need to do pip install Yahoo query and then run enter. It's the same package uh, like Y Finance, but in in a few in a few aspects, it's better and it goes a little bit faster. I'm gonna define a few tickers, so I'm gonna create an array. I'm gonna download Google. I'm gonna download Tesla. I'm gonna download Microsoft, and I'm gonna download Apple and maybe also um, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Now I need to define a folder where I will save them. So I will say F, which is my folder, and download F projects, download stock prices, and the folder is going to be downloads and should be between parentheses. I'm going to create a new folder downloads and here it's going to save my CSV files. So now first I'm going to create an empty array. Uh, this is for the stocks that he couldn't download and I'm going to write for loop. So for ticker in tickers. So for each ticker in this array, so for Google, Tesla, Microsoft, Apple, Coca-Cola, and Pepsi, uh, first I will print uh, working on um, ticker. So I will see what ticker he is trying to download. I'm gonna open a try block and I'm gonna say df price equals to Ticker, ticker, df equals to df price dot history, which is a built in function in Yahoo query, and the period is going to be 10 years. You can adjust that to your own needs, and the interval will be daily, and the file will be saved in folder ticker and I will give it CSV extension dot CSV and then we're going to do DF to CSV which is going to save it to CSV and I'm going to pass in a variable the file and now I'll we'll open um, oh, maybe first I will print if it worked so print ticker plus has been saved to and I'll say folder. Now we'll open and accept. Accept file not found error. And I will append it to the array that I started. So for each ticker that he couldn't download, it will be saved in the no success array. And here I'll print um, found no price information for plus ticker. And I will say continue. So he won't stop with looping if one ticker has not been found. Okay, 
uh, I will run all those cells so and I will download the files so he's working on Google Google has been saved okay it worked but I forgot to add this and if I will rerun it then it will be saved in the downloads folder okay so this is how we can download price information from Yahoo Finance.